Hello friends, welcome to the Yokai Watch Y Academy Episode 50 Anime Episode Review President in Madai Big Decision The Last School Song Unison or In Madai Lichi Cho no Ichi Dai Ketsu Dan Saiko no Kyo Koka Seisho uh, this episode did air Christmas because, like, like Rebel Five would allow that day to be a day without their lovely anime. Uh, this was provided by the episode was provided by Austin, who provided me with the link. A uh, link to his YouTube will be down below, as well as a link to the episode. But you can totally still probably get it through the torrent as well, which may be easier for people who would like to keep the episode for a longer time and don't want to risk going to a link and finding that the link is gone, because I know some people have gone to links and they've been gone. Nothing I can do about that. It's all about level 5 and about the anime studio itself. But let's dive into this actual episode. It This episode felt very mid to me. Mazera did a monologue. We had scenes where everyone transformed. Uh, Koma-san, I mean Sandayu, does a little rap, and everyone gets cloaked in the green bubble of greatness by T9. So, yeah, we they got the ultimate protection from the best yokai hero. Uh, I'm kidding, he, he is not the best. Also, I do want to point out that Sandyu new form, Little Commander Ace, made a debut, and we do have the debut of Gakogur Inma and Mizera Bolt, which are new forms. Basically, a new Gundam or a Megazord form, and a new Frieza-like form for Mizera, who I assume will have three or four forms. But everyone basically destroys the, the fodder aliens. And that that's basically that. Uh, Little Commander Ace's design is nice. It's like a, a upgraded Little Commander. Uh, you did get Earthwalker kind of staring down Mazera. Mazera easily flicks Shishio away as if Shishio is nothing, which that kind of just kills what Shishio really was. Like, I, I'm not saying it downplays Shishio, but it makes Shishio feel and look much weaker than Shishio should be. Uh, there was Meteo Gon, the big rock-like kaiju that our heroes had to defeat. They were around. They were obviously summoned by Mazera. So, uh, I had even forgotten that Titan form was actually a thing. But, Titan Mazera occurs, and then, yeah. Like, this episode felt really awkwardly paced. Uh, Jinpei was KO'd for a short amount of time. Uh, we actually get to know that the actual Lichi Cho of the school, or actual school leader, or uh, quote-unquote president, was Emma this entire time. And Emma herself is surprised. There is a little Emma Emma flashback, which is pretty good. Because that flashback hasn't occurred for X amount of episodes, so that brings the full circle. While this is all going on, we get Y circle references. We get the reveal of the Emma Megazord Gundam 
probably Megazord is the best way to describe this, that Gakogur, aka Gako, their school, Megazord. So, yeah, and we get the clash between the Emmazord and Mazera in Titan form. And I kind of wish that their command center area looked a little bit less like a schoolroom. But that's, that's just a personal thing. It's not really a gripe or anything. It's just, it would have added to the feel and the intensity of actually piloting something like a Megazord if they had, like, more, like, mech panels. I, I don't even know how to describe it, like, more flashing lights and buttons on the side where there's like little billboards or little bulletin boards I mean. Oh and guys, Onrio have returned and Onrio started fighting Mazera Titan. And guys, I can't for the life of me come up with a good explanation about why the Onrio are doing that in the sense of what a Onrio really are. Cause Onrio, they hold grudges, right? I don't believe any of these five hold a grudge specifically with Mazera, which means that this should not have happened. Normally Onryo have a grudge with a particular person or group of people, and our heroes were the ones who basically defeated these Kyodai Celery Mon Miyazawa-san. Kyona no Hanako-san, the home, Jumbo Tomonichi-kun, like, they were defeated by our heroes. It, it would be, it, it just feels a little weird to me. I'm just going to throw this down to anime logic. Zazu, Whisper, I mean, Mr. Usu, he, Hara, or Harihiko. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out to that logic, because... Our Onryo have not felt like real traditional Onryo, and I know it's because it's a kid's show, but uh, it just kind of hurts me because Onryo, you would have figured Kyodai Salary Man would have like went more or less after what he held a grudge about. Same thing for the home, Hanako san. Unless someone else's grudge or hatred or like malice could be first upon a Onryo, but there, there's not stories or like folklore about that as far as I know. I mean, if there is, okay, that makes sense. If not, like I'm not shooting on them for doing it this way, but y you got to kind of link stuff together with like the actual meaning of certain stuff. But it was nice to see these Onryo again. It was a good cameo position for them. They they were kind of just there. Mazera Titan was defeated by the Gakogur Emma, which looks really interesting. But this allowed Mazera Titan to become Mazera Bolt. So I assume Mazera has one more form left, which is perfect Mazera form. Because with Titan and Bolt in normal form, there has to be a final form. So, yeah, episode was okay. I wouldn't call this a favorite episode. It served its purpose. And, man, am I hoping that Season 2 has a little bit more action. Like, I, like I saw the mech, like, last week. And I'm like, oh, we're, we're getting into something that's going to be like a two to three minute bout but no I, I was let down I was so excited guys because I wanted to see like swords clash I wanted to see lasers clash I wanted to see a, a fun fight but all we got was a little bit of combat and then a super move because Jinpei also I do want to point out that there is a funny scene where Jinpei steals Mela's seat and it's kind of kicking Merla when Merla or Mera Merla Lido tries to take his seat back. 
And that action of Jinpei kicking Raido-san is kind of funny to me. Because it plays off of like the intensity of the fact that Jinpei is forever going to be Chu Gakusei. Like, he's forever a middle schooler. Like, uh, even if Jinpei becomes, even when Jinpei becomes a college student, I'm just going to refer to him as a middle schooler because he's, he's going to do that type of stuff. He's going to have that, that quirky mentality, which, even though I don't exactly agree with, is fitting for his character design, I, I guess. Because when a cat can be a hero, nothing can be serious. <laughs> But yeah, I think this is setting up the final episode in a alright way. I mean, I think 51 is the final one, and then they're going to have a week break, and then they're going to go into Season 2, January 22nd, right? It's 22nd or 24th of January. It will give the studio a nice little break, some time to prepare the new material and I will be doing a video on my thoughts going into season two probably later today tomorrow sometime this week coming up love and appreciate you guys have a great day bye bye